What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you know what's up, if you're coming back, welcome back. So today's Friday. I know my week, my vlogs just never start at the beginning of the week. But I always have about a week's worth of content. That's what matters. So I'm quickly putting on my moisturizer. This is my makeup routine. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. This is my makeup routine. I'm kind of in a hurry. But I think we have some fun stuff going on today, truly. Um, the thrift stores are going to close soon. And I told my little sister I would take her thrifting today. So I'm like a little bit behind sunscreen. I always put sunscreen on even though it's cold outside. So we're going thrifting today. I don't know what else we're gonna do. If we get something to eat or drink, we probably will because I need a coffee or a Red Bull or something. Um, and then I just have this. I got this, I don't remember where I got it from, but it's just a clear like lip gloss, of course. And then this Merit uh, lip gloss in the color taupe. Okay, makeup guru. And it's just a really pretty color. I don't even do my whole lip because it's a little bit of a lot of color. But my lips will be looking a little bit pale in the winter. That's the makeup routine, guys. Was that so much fun? So I got this from... There's, like, sunscreen on it. I got this from TJ Maxx. Not as matching. Um, I slept with my window open, so I woke up with, like, a runny nose. But I'm not sick. I refuse to think I'm getting sick. That's pretty much it. I thought I was going to be able to do a Galentine's this week with my friends, but it's not feeling like they trying to do that. So we probably are not going to do that, although I really want to because everybody's busy. Like the dates of our schedules are not working. And one thing about me, I hate like pet beef. I hate celebrating something after it's already over. Like even like my birthday, like it needs to be the weekend before, not the weekend after. Like after it's already over, like I don't want to do that. Like I don't want to do that. Um... And then literally after Valentine's Day, it's my anniversary with my man. So I'm really not able to do it right after. So it's just, it's just a lot. So if we do that, that'll be in this vlog, but I doubt it. But I also want to go see The Chosen. The Chosen's in theaters, so I really want to do that tomorrow. Almost every time I do a vlog, I'm always at the movie theaters. One thing about me, I love a cinema. I'm trying to like keep my head turned to the side so I don't look so bald, but... Literally, like, I love going to the movie. My desk, like, literally won't turn. I have to change my thing. So that's why I'm, like, talking from this side. Because I literally, my knees are hitting. Mm hmm My knees are hitting the thing. So I have to turn sideways. But truthfully, like, I love going to the movies. Like, if, if there was no such thing as houses and you had to pick, like, a business to live in, like, where would you live? Like, any building, I'm choosing a movie theater. Like, I'm choosing a movie theater without a doubt like i'm not choosing a grocery store i'm not choosing a mattress store like i'm all the way choosing a cinema like all the way like i love a good movie i love a good movie it gotta be the reclining seats though don't play with me but anyways that's the tea today let's go Alright you guys, so I'm back from the thrift store and I'm going to give you guys a little haul. Um, but first, I'm going to show y'all how to make one of my favorite drinks. This is like so bad for you. So if you don't like caffeine, if you don't like Red Bull, please don't try this. Please don't drink it. I never told you to. How, like, one thing about me is the white Red Bull, the white one is really elite. Like, the white one really gets me every time. So, I'm about to show y'all how to make this. I call it Cocoa Berry Dream, Cocoa Berry Bliss. This is the Coconut Berry Red Bull 
for y'all who don't know so i'm about to show you guys how i make my drink first you're gonna need some ice okay and then you're gonna need another glass if you want but if you want to do it right you're gonna need another glass and you're gonna need heavy cream whoa and you're also gonna need some vanilla syrup I put mine in a dispenser, but you can use like vanilla. I wouldn't use vanilla extract. It's gotta be like vanilla syrup, like a pump, like coffee vanilla syrup. I also have hazelnut, but vanilla is for this. So don't, don't, don't use another kind, please. Take one of the ice cubes. Okay, that one has two connected to it. That's too big. Take like one of them and put it in the little glass. Y'all need to trust me. Y'all need to trust me. Just trust me, okay? Then you're going to need your heavy cream. I'm going to shake it really quick just to like make sure it's good to go. So give it a little shake. Like that much. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's good enough. Just like a little bit. You're going to need to put your pumps. I put like four or five pumps in here. Because they're not like regular pumps. Because this is a soap dispenser. So it's not like a whole pump measurement. Because at Starbucks, like the pumps be huge. This one has a little pump, so... I'm just gonna do it like that and then put some in here I just put like five maybe, maybe that. Okay. don't do this if you have a problem if you have a problem with caffeine if you have a problem with sugar like if you have any of that like don't and don't drink this more than once a day okay pace yourself okay then I'm gonna froth this so just be a little bit careful and just like do this and you'll see it like start to thicken up this that looks so bad on camera oh my god don't do that just make it look a little look a little bit cute look a little bit cute because that looks crazy okay look at it that's perfect that's perfect now you're gonna pop this open now i got a big can don't if the reason I got a big can is because, like, this is the only one they had. You can use the little can if you want to just do a little bit, okay? So, do that. And then, I like to stir the syrup because we did put syrup in it. I don't even know if you guys are ready for this. Watch this. Look how just beautiful this looks. Stop. Me. does this not look so pretty this looks beautiful like what kind of childish like igloo freeze frostbite drink is this let me give y'all a little taste test one thing about it oh my god i feel like an addict let's get into the hall let me wipe that up that looks crazy just give it like a good mix all together whoa literally whoa it's giving like jack frost like on a coconutty tropical vacation like swimming with polar bears and like cracking coconuts and just like enjoying like not being in the north pole period okay girl let's let's get into it all because you're doing too much okay so the first thing i got is this red cardigan i know this looks crazy Y'all are probably like, what the freak? Like, what are you doing? But the problem, the truth of the matter, the problem that I have, if I see something and I see an outfit, I'm getting it. It's pretty like long, like all the way to the floor pretty much. But she's cute. She's cute. So I got that. This one was $3.99. I've never been able to successfully get in and out of a thrift store without getting a t-shirt. So I got this one. It was like a Cleveland Cavs t-shirt. Truthfully, it's kind of ugly, but... I love like oversized shirts just to sleep in and black. You can't get me out of black. You can't take me out of black. So even though I don't watch basketball, even though I don't watch basketball, it's cute. Then I know this is like such a weird color, but I'm hoping it looks cute on me. I don't know. This is just like this heavy. If y'all could feel like how heavy this material is, it's so like nice. Like this is just a nice jacket. Like it's so thick. And I don't even know the price because it was one of the ones that it just like by color. I think this was like four bucks. This is cute. Like this is cute. 
it's like a cute color it's not quite mint but like it's a pretty shade of green so i'm gonna give it a shot i don't really wear green that much but and when i do it's more like olive so this is kind of bright but we gonna see guys guys it's just so good like i just really i just really just It's just, woo! Okay, then I got these sweats. They're like velour. I don't really love the zippers on it, but they're cute. And they flare at the bottom, so these are really cute. This is giving me like back in the day. Like this is almost Hannah Montana, like Cheetah Girls 1, Zoe 101. Like we love the velour. We love the velour. I'm gonna try to do this Valentine's Day shoot that I have in my mind and I, I didn't know whether I wanted to do a red turtleneck or a black turtleneck. And you guys are probably like, turtleneck? Like, well, what is she talking about? If I end up doing it and it comes out good, I'll show you guys. But I have an idea. I have a vision in my head. So I ended up just getting this black turtleneck. It's like pretty regular, but I really like the material. It's very, 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 very stretchy. And then I got this one in red. This one's a little bit thinner. So I was a little bit worried that it'll be see-through, which I don't love but also where's the sleeve um which i don't love but it's also really stretchy but it's just thinner like this material is thinner so it doesn't seem like it will be see-through it don't seem that way but i feel like it might be but anyways red is giving more valentine's day but also black you can't get me out of black <laughs> you just can't keep me out of black okay this one hot take I've never in my life bought like sleepwear or like anything like that from a thrift store. I love a good thrift store, okay? But something about the sleepwear be just giving me a little bit, a little bit of a, what, you know, what would you do with in this? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I got this beautiful white robe. When I tell y'all, I've been, when I tell you guys, I've literally been looking. I've literally been looking for this white fluffy robe for the longest and I didn't want to order it because I didn't, you can't feel how soft it is when you order something online. But every time I go to a store, they never have a white like hotel robe. And I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna do it. Somebody was naked under this and that is kind of freaking me out a little bit. So I really don't want to touch that much. Like, you know, like somebody was naked in here. And crap, uh, Croft and Borrow is from Kohl's. And I used to work at Kohl's, so that's how I know that brand is typically at Kohl's. And there's only old people in there, so that just makes it a little bit even more kind of, ugh, you know what I mean? Like, who's like raising? <laughs> that was crazy. I know that was crazy, but like, whose self was in here? Like, I don't know. So this is gonna get like deep cleaned, okay? But I just really wanted it. I couldn't. I couldn't say no, so I got it. I could have said no. Now that I'm looking at it, I could have. But I have a vision. Once I have a vision, you know, it's hard to, like, shake it. Okay, and lastly, I got this purse. It's, like, leather, but it's, like, kind of cracked leather. If you can see, like, right here. It's so pretty. So that was my haul. I think I did pretty good. This is what happens when you get the big can. Refill. Tomorrow, I'm going to see if we can go to the movies because I really want to watch The Chosen. How do I describe this? So basically, it's a, it's a series about the life of Jesus and um, the story of Jesus and his experience on earth. And when I tell y'all, it's so good. Like, you think you know, right? Like, you think you know. But the way something happens when you're experiencing something visually that you can really f almost feel his emotions obviously it's an actor and he plays jesus but this guy who's doing it is just so amazing at doing it like he really fits the role because the emotions on his face and just like how he talks and how he speaks to people it definitely gives you a better understanding of jesus and you just kind of experience kind of what being around him would have been like they're not like a big hollywood production they do everything themselves and everything is kind of like you donate and they're kind of doing it on their own um which is absolutely amazing 
because then they can really tell the truth. They don't have any big like movie producers like trying to change it, trying to change like what they want to show. So I really like that. So that's why I constantly support them and they finally got into the theaters, which is so awesome. So definitely go and check that out. And this is what it looks like. It's in theaters right now. Movies and learning about Jesus at the same time. Come on, come on. That's what I'm gonna try to do tomorrow. If I don't do it tomorrow, I'll probably do it on Sunday. But either way, that's probably what I'm gonna do next. If not, I'm sure I'll do something else. So I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop. And um, that's pretty much it. So first day of the vlog, down. We'll see what we do next. See y'all then. All right, you guys, it's now Saturday. I'm back in the same position I was in yesterday. And I'm running late again. I think we are gonna go to the movies today. I'm in this like teal jumpsuit today. Not jumpsuit, it's a tracksuit because it's jacket and like flare um, leggings. I got it from uh fashion nova i think i keep doing this hairstyle because it's super easy and i don't really i don't ever have enough time to do my hair also i don't really know how to do hair very well i really need to learn but yeah so this is the look today i need more of this because i did not put that much on at all i'm probably just gonna do like that was a lot. Look how dark that is. Okay. Whatever we do today, we're going to vlog. I'm going out with my sisters, which is always so much fun. So I'm excited. So I will get some content for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys are doing good. Hopefully you said your prayers this morning. And I just pray that all of y'all have an amazing day. Whatever day you're viewing this, I hope it's amazing. So let's go. That ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey. Sipping something, bumping beer, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew. so as you guys saw i did meet miss maya yesterday those of y'all who watch her on youtube she is absolutely amazing also i'm talking a little bit quiet because everybody in my house is asleep right now and i'm awake because it's past one o'clock in the morning um but it's okay we're gonna be okay so let me tell you guys about how it happened while i put on my skincare so so as y'all know i lived in florida for a while i mean first i lived in arizona if y'all follow me all the way back then i lived in arizona and then after i was in arizona then my mom wanted to move to florida so we moved to florida which is fine you know what i mean like Florida's cool or whatever but honestly it was really traumatic and I didn't like it and life got really tough so then um I ended up going back home which home for me is Ohio and my dad still lived here my brother lives here so me and my sisters drove from Florida to Ohio and that was a lot um I have vlogs about that but anyway so we ended up back in Columbus and in Columbus there is oh, Columbus Ohio y'all don't know that's like where it's popping so anyways um we are back here with my dad and everything and a mall here is called easton and it's like you know it'd be only popping at easton sometimes but not nearly as much as it was when i was a kid so we were like let's go to easton like it's been a while like let's go catch a movie at easton like nothing you know weird or crazy it's just easton we've been there a million times and it's familiar so we get movie tickets because easton has like a very of like a dining like it's a very nice um very nice movie theater that's like a dining one and like i told you i wanted to go and see the chosen so we ended up going to easton shopping around and getting tickets for the chosen and so anyways i talked about the chosen y'all know what it is so we're in line and when you get to that mall 
you go up like escalators like to get up to the movie theater area because it's like a mall and then like upstairs is the movie theater if that makes sense so i'm on the escalator and as i'm like getting over the escalator to where like the concession counter is at and like the ticket booth and stuff i see maya's husband like putting butter on his popcorn but i didn't know that it was him because like it was just his side profile and like he's obviously like paying attention to his popcorn so he wasn't like looking at me but i saw his side profile and i'm like who is it like i feel like i know him like i don't understand like i can't figure it out so i'm looking i'm waiting and he's like loading this popcorn up with butter and i'm like how the heck am i supposed to like figure out who this is well then he turns around and i'm like shoot that's javon like i'm in shock because I, they live in georgia so i'm like how the heck are they here right now and if he's here is maya here again it sounds crazy because she doesn't know me but i'm like maya like where is she because i've watched her like my whole entire life so sorry let this dry a little bit so i'm like i'm looking at my sister and i'm like girl like i know who that is like i need to go say hi and she's like no like he doesn't know you like that's so weird like don't do it and i'm like no like i have to, like th this is a must like i must go do it because there's a good chance Maya's here and there's no way that she's in columbus in easton in the movie theater area at the same time as me and i'm not gonna you know like do anything i'm not gonna say anything so here i am i take off running and I literally run across the movie theater. I had already got my ticket. I run across the movie like concession lobby and I go, Javon? <laughs> like he probably thought I was like some weird family member that like only saw you when you were a kid. Like he was probably so confused. Like, you know my name, but I don't recognize the voice. <laughs> so here I am like, oh my God, like this is so awkward. Like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you, but like I watch you guys on YouTube. And he's like, no way, like, that's awesome. Maya's here. And I was like, stop it. Like, you're not, obviously, I didn't say it like that. I'm just like, stop, really? And he's like, yeah, like, she's in the movie. And I was like, darn it, did your movie already start? Because, like, obviously, like, I'm not gonna have her escape the movie theater to come to meet a, like, crazy person. So I'm like, no, like, she's not gonna be like, if the movie's playing, don't get her. And he's like, look at this stuff, y'all. It's, like, so, like kind of slimy i love it okay so anyways i'm like is the movie like has the movie already started and he's like no like it hasn't started yet i'm gonna go get her and i was like mind you as i said earlier me and my best friend would like watch her all the time so as he goes into the movie theater immediately i'm like i need to call her like she's gonna be so mad if i meet her and i don't say like i don't try to call her or try to like let her know like she's gonna be like girl you're so fake so I get her on FaceTime after she didn't answer me the first time. I was like, girl, you finna miss out. You finna miss out. Okay. So I'm like, okay, like she's about to come out of the movie theater. And I'm like, girl, I'm about to meet Maya. So she comes out and here comes Maya. She's actually adorable. To be, This is going to sound so creepy and like weird, but like in the best way. It felt like a mirror. Like it just felt like like she's light skin, half black, like the the voices were there, the energy was there, the good vibes were there. And I'm just like, girl, she's like, girl. And I'm like, we're I'm I'm in shock that I'm glitching. Like I couldn't it was like I was fine. I wasn't like freaking out because it's like she's like famous. It wasn't that. It was more just like you're so much like me and you don't know it. But like I know it. Does that make sense? Like I sound like a freak. So I was like in shock. So here I am like in shock, freaking out. And she's like, you're so cute. And I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. Like it literally sounds like mirrored voices. Like y'all heard the video. Like it literally, we are about the same height. Like it's giving like we're supposed to be sisters slash friends in this life. Like that's what it's giving. So long story short, I'm like, I'm um, talking to her about like the movie she's seeing, whatever, whatever. And she's like, oh my gosh, like we come to Columbus. His family like lives in Columbus. So they have the kids like we're on a date night, whatever, the whatever. And I'm like, girl, like I live in Columbus. Like that's so amazing that like I came to the, why does my hair look like that? I'm so shocked that like I came to the mall today, whatever. And she's like, yeah, like I hope you enjoy your movie. Like it was so nice to meet you, yada, yada. So then I'm like, dang, like that's really crazy like i can't believe i really just met her like i'm in shock so here i am like in my movie theater and my movie's about to start and she dms me 
because when we when i saw her she was like let me follow you on instagram and i was like oh my gosh like that's so sweet like you didn't have to do that like when i'm like in that zone i'm the last thing i'm thinking about is social media like at all but she was like let me follow you on instagram like i was like stop it she's gonna be my friend like this is crazy like i've always wanted to be your friend like that's it sounds bonkers but like truthfully side sidebar when you're a young girl 17 18 and you're trying to be a woman of God and every other girl, not every other girl, but a lot of other girls are like acting crazy and wilding out and not trying to be a woman of God. And then you're 19 and 20 and 21 and there's still no like woman of God like transfer over. It's very hard to make friends because it's like you're in this place of like maturing and kind of being over the childish, being over the boy crazy, being over like the immature kind of classless kind of phase like you're ready to kind of cover up you're ready to be in the house like you're ready you know there's a transformation that you undergo and so to meet friends like to make friends it's very hard like in high school you can make friends because you guys are all like walking around you see the same people like every day but it's very hard to make friends when you're that age and so I was just like shocked that she wanted to follow me on Instagram. So anyways, she followed me on Instagram. She DMs me while I'm in the movie theater. And she's like, we got to take a picture after the movie. Like, what time's your movie over? And I'm like, stop it. Like, this is crazy. Like, I'm about to take a picture with her. Like, I'll be able to like have that and say like, I met her. This time, I didn't know that her husband was recording the exchange. So I thought I was just going to never be able to say it because I never had any proof. So I was just going to be like, that was great. Like, thank you, God. Like, me and God were just going to know. But anyways so then i tell her what time my movie's over and she's like oh no like i had to leave early like I, something happened with um her son i think uh not like bad but like he needed to eat or something like that i forget what she said but she had to leave the movie theater and so we didn't get to get a picture and i was like darn it but then she was like but i would y'all get this she flat out was like but i would love to take you and your friend to brunch You want to take me to brunch? I have a caffeine addiction. So when she said that, I, I was already kind of cracked out on caffeine. So I was glitching. I was glitching. As soon as I get out of the movie theater, I face on my friend. And I was like, stop it. Stop right now. Stop what you're doing. She's like, what? And I'm like, oh my God. You have the best, best friend ever. Guess what? And she's like, what? What? And I'm like, we're going to brunch. And she was like, what? And I was like, we're going to brunch with Maya. And she was like, bro, what? And I'm like, I'm not joking. Like, we're literally going to brunch with Miss Maya herself. And she's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yes. Like, very, very much serious. Like, if you have to work, call off. Like, we have to, we have to be available for brunch i'm like we must be available like we must be available because one thing about it okay one thing about it maya said brunch so we're going to brunch we're going to brunch. and the thing about it is it's like maya doesn't know that we literally want to be her friend like the way she has no idea that she has girls that love god are in relationships know the struggle of being like mixed in america know the struggle of being a younger girl who wants to get married young knows the struggle of someone who um didn't previously know god and is transferring into a closer relationship with him like there's so much little stuff that just being on her youtube that she shares that we just resonate with like she's one of the most relatable people that like you've never met before like kim kardashian cool but we don't i can't relate to you you know what i mean like you're not gonna get the same reaction i'm just like completely in shock so guess what you guys after all this story we're going to brunch my kid was actually coming over when i keep saying my friend it's my kid so y'all better just get get used to the name okay because she's been in the vlogs before um but she's gonna come over tomorrow because we also watch bachelor if you don't watch bachelor you should and if you already do watch Bachelor, make sure you tune in tomorrow because it's coming on. I think it's episode three. And one thing about it is I love The Bachelor. I love The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, doesn't matter. And I love Joey, okay? So she's coming over to watch Bachelor with, like, we, my family always watches it. So we're going to um, just kick it tomorrow and watch that. I don't know if I'll vlog that, maybe. Um, but I definitely am going to vlog her telling y'all what she, like, what she was experiencing when she met maya i know it's not okay y'all y'all are youtube girls like hopefully the girls watching this are youtube girls because one thing about it one thing about it 
is we all feel like family like we all feel like family like when you're a youtube girl like it's all giving family so mine was giving sis like already so that's why there was so much excitement because it's like a long lost like <laughs> i hope she never sees it she's gonna be like y'all are so crazy but really one thing about it i was like girl what you're here like you're really here shocking shocking new footage reveals <laughs> okay anyways so anyways gotta play it cool um brunch you know regular the regular schmag you know um that's gonna be on the vlog so i'll show you guys that you know something slight and yeah so bachelor tomorrow brunch on tuesday and that'll probably close the vlog for real go out with a bank go out with a bank hey guys welcome back to my channel it's monday it's not monday and ignore my hair okay we're about to we're about to straighten it here in a little bit but this is my Kayla, y'all. And I am gonna just give the floor to her because I want to hear from her perspective about what she was feeling like when we met somebody that, you know, we kind of look up to and kind of like, you know, wanted to be friends with for years. And and then we're gonna talk about Brooke. No. <laughs> Un momento. Um, are you gonna stay? Or? Yeah. Let's try not to. Can you hand me a Jolly Rancher from over there? No. Mm, thank you. What color do you want? Oh, thank you. You're getting watermelon. Thank you. So basically, um, so I'm gonna wait till she's. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. So basically, um, so I'm like with a family, right? And we're eating dinner, chilling, and I get a random FaceTime call. Random. I did random. not text. I'm sorry. No text. <laughs> a random FaceTime call. And I'm like, like, dang, I'm eating dinner, like, with family. Like, I don't want to be rude, but, like, I text her. And I'm like, like, is, just making sure, is everything okay? Like, just letting you know what's, what's going on. She's like, basically, like, you need to answer right now. <laughs> you need to answer right now. And she's like, I'm about to meet Maya. So I go. I don't I, even think I said her last name. Like I think I just said mine, and you knew who I was talking about. I like go. I'm like, excuse me, guys. Like I'll be right back. I went into the bathroom, and I answered her call, and she was already kind of like in the process of like you know talking to her yeah. and stuff, and I just hear Skylar like just like <laughs> freaking out like, oh my gosh, just <laughs> and I'm just like, this is me in the camera. I haven't even seen. <laughs> I haven't even seen her yet, bro. Literally. But I'm just like. I was in shock, y'all. So then, um, she was like, she was like, this is my best friend. We've been watching you since we were like 17. And oh my gosh, we just love you so Like, basically like that. Literally. So then she like puts me in the camera and she's like, hi. Da, da, da. And she's just like, what's your name? And I tell her. And then Skylar's still like freaking out. I'm freaking out like internally, but I'm not like on the phone like, ah! but like internally, I'm like that. So um she like basically kept me on the phone and she was saying like you know just talking and stuff and then um i heard like her tell her man like like pull up her instagram like talking about skylar and i was like literally i was pull in up her instagram because <laughs> y'all know how like like there's influencers out here that like interact with like fans or like you know their subscribers but don't really like it's not really on like a personal right. level it's literally just like oh like hi thanks hey thanks you know yeah thanks for the support type stuff but like she they was so quick to go and follow her like her and her husband so literally that was just crazy and then she's just like like do you want to be in my vlog da, da, da. and um like i was on the phone like hearing it <laughs> but in my head i'm just like like dang that's like insane like Bro, just that alone to my core hours go by <sighs> hours Go. first of all like in the in in between these hours this that's when she sent me like the screenshot that they both uh followed her and i was like bro like that alone i'm just like that's so sweet like right who's following like their supporters really? right like you know I me mean? um it was hours go by i'm literally <laughs> lights off tv off sleep <laughs> in the bed and she calls me again. This time, no questions. <laughs> it's gotta be, gotta be something. I'm like, I don't care if I'm asleep. Like, <laughs> no questions, bro. So I answer, and she's like, "Bro, you won't believe 
who's or you what did you say I don't I, like even you said something what like, I said she said something like like who's the best friend ever <laughs> oh, you won't yeah, believe yeah. or something like that and then she was like she was like you and me uh guess I, I, don't, I don't even remember. know like I, I was remember. just my brain was just like but at first oh at first I thought she was calling me because um her husband posted like the video because he was fil filming them. Oh yeah, yeah. So her husband posted the video like on his story, just like oh, like you know, shout out to Skyler for uh, stopping us at the movies, whatever. And um, I immediately answer him because like, she's like, guess what, saying stuff like that, or like you won't believe it, whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, like oh, I already know, like I saw it, like that's so cool, that's crazy, like not even <laughs> literally. Not she even, has no idea what I was no about to idea. say. <laughs> She's like, yeah, anyways, guess who's going to brunch with Maya? I'm like, <laughs> who? <laughs> are you, are you lying? Shocked. shocked. <laughs> are you lying? I'm waiting for the what? joke. I'm <laughs> like, ha, ha, ha. Pretty much all I felt was like, it was like, all I felt was like disbelief. Yeah. Literally, that's all I felt like, bro, no way. <laughs> I kept texting her like, "Are we being delusional? Like, like are you sure you are you sure you met her? Even though it's on video, <laughs> is this video real? <laughs> is it I, AI or what? I'm because even like, bro, was it like a like a fan page that messaged you? <laughs> like, literally, we always told each other like, bro, if we ever met her, like, we know we would be friends, or bro, like, literally. if we ever met her, we know it would be like so natural, and we would just like click, like, we would say that all the time, like years literally. ago, literally." literally i'm like bro she's literally one of us you can hear it through the screen like the jokes like we have like very like similar personalities on camera the way we talk like and she's not from here like so it's even more shocking and just the fact that she lives in georgia and was just in columbus like in east and like in the movie theater like at the exact at the same, same time, time like that's crazy like exactly. that's nothing but god for real mm -hmm. and then i did something a little bit mean <laughs> i might not <laughs> So these <laughs> were stops. Like nah. Okay, but 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 basically, she thought it was. Um, she thought it was so kind. Mind you, we went to sleep. So that that day, I saw her. Like we were knocked out. Like I didn't yeah. touch her. We were just like, what are we gonna wear? Yada yada. Yeah. Like you know, like just regular. still in disbelief. Like and oh my gosh, what the? <laughs> you know what I mean? So she texts me. Was like, like oh, like. Uh, it seemed like you didn't believe me like at first uh, and I'm yeah. like no because I really didn't like and I was basically like like is this a prank <laughs> so this girl texts me back talking about it's been a prank this whole time <laughs> with laughing faces like not the part about me meeting her like that was legit because I yeah. was caught on camera but the yeah. part about like going to brunch and like her yeah. DMing me because I like on I intentionally didn't show her the messages oh so you were planning that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, of course I was. Because I showed you a screenshot of her following me, so it would have been super easy to just <laughs> screenshot it and show you the proof of the brunch. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah, yeah. So, up until that point, <laughs> I didn't see any, like, screenshot of her actually DMing her. Yeah. So, when she said it's been a prank this whole time, <laughs> mind you, we're talking about, like, God is so good. <laughs> what are we going to wear? Like, freaking out. Just, like... Like, no like it way. went, like, are like we it's crazy? getting far. Like <laughs> so I seen that text and this was me and like, I'm, I'm chilling on my couch, like just watching TV. Right? Really? I'm laying down on my couch. I seen that text. This was me. Hold on. <laughs> Not the reenactment. Thank you. <laughs> I said. <laughs> That made it worth it. That made it worth it right there. That's hilarious. Not the deep breaths. She's like, no, I took about, I took about three. Like, because I'm like, you're like, bro, I literally really hate her guts. No, <laughs> bro, I, bro. bro, and like, if you. If you know me, you don't know me, whatever. I'm not, like, a yeller. I'm not, like, going to cuss you out. I'm not ready to, like, you feel me? Like, I'm not going to pull up to your house and fight. I'm literally sitting there just, like. My like, heart just fell out, rolled over the floor. Like My heart was beating so fast. It said, like, super chill. I said, oh, that's messed up. But still, like, I'm at home angry. Like, the, 
And then when she she responded to that with more laughing faces, and this was still before I seen any screenshots. So I'm like, this girl really it's, thinks this is her really movie. thinks this is so funny. Like I was cracking up. Like, I'm and in my up. head, I'm like, she's delusional. <laughs> she just like made up this whole story <laughs> and took it so like, far psycho, and bro. got my hopes up. And she did send me like the screen recording. I had to like look over it a couple yeah. times. Like this isn't edited. Because like, at this point, I'm shock. scared. <laughs> oh, I'm in shock. <sighs> Still. <laughs> Still. All right, y'all. These are the looks today. We got we got the shoes on. We got the tops on. We got the hair done. Okay. And we're looking yeah. good. Okay. And what's about it? Is she on the way? She's on the way, y'all. We're waiting. We're freaking out. Okay. I'm trying to be calm and composed, but. She's coming. Yes. Pray for us. We might make a new friend today. Ah. In my mind, we already did. We did. <laughs> y'all. Like, I got a couple clips or whatever. We took pictures, so I'm, I'm gonna shock. show y'all, but I'm in shock. I started to cry. Ah. It was so natural. She just had so many just kind, sweet things to say. Mm. Um, she made us feel so just like like family like the whole time it just felt like she was so invested in us and wanting to know about us and curious about our lives and mm -hmm. sharing opening up about hers so it was really just it just felt so good like god's fingerprints were really all over it mm -hmm. and all glory goes to him for even just giving us this opportunity to just um just represent him but in such a girly sisterhood kind of mm -hmm. feminine way that just came out so natural and authentic and mm -hmm. i literally one of the best days ever one so i'm truly day. this is going down in history for me in my mind mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really a big moment so i'm truly so excited excited to just see like the friendship it she definitely made us feel like she was she would hit us up again next time she's in columbus um and i'm just excited so thank you jesus that's all i have thank to say you, thank you jesus thank she's you. a gem all right you guys so y'all just saw us freaking out in the car and like talking about how it went so i just kind of wanted to close out the vlog and just say first of all i don't know if she'll ever see this or if she'll watch this but maya you just deserve a round of applause like i truly obviously like if if i was with her like i would tell her this like if i I could sum up what i learned about her to her this is what i would say um especially for those of y'all who might have saw me from her channel and like want to know about her or want to know what she was like um honestly exactly who she is on camera is exactly what you get off camera like she totally just radiates warmth and just kindness and just she's so genuine and authentic that you she doesn't give off like i'm better than you i'm an influencer i have more followers like she does she could and she doesn't like that is just not she's just like who she is on camera and i think that that's so important especially for if y'all are already her supporters um just to know that that she's exactly the same but to also just know that like she genuinely wants to like learn about y'all and she loves she genu when she says like we're like family like y'all are really like my girls like when she says that to the people watching her if i learned anything today from that is that she genuinely is so appreciative and so grateful for the support that she has from so many people and it just it truly just was like illuminating off of her skin today like she was really glowing and it was like you can tell that this is totally her calling to speak to people, to be with people, um, to just experience all the things, womanhood and motherhood and sisterhood and just all the things that she genuinely stands for. That's exactly who you get in person. So um, um, for me, I'm like a year older than her. Um, so we're all like right around the same age. I think um my Kayla the, well yeah they're the same age um so to just have like people um just come together for God in a place and just talk about his glory and his goodness um in such a cute fun way it was honestly something like I've never experienced before um me and my Kayla are obviously close but the fact that she just fit right in like we've watched her for a very long time um like we had previously said so it genuinely was so natural um and there's so much beauty um, in 
kind of that fellowship that took place we prayed before we ate and everything like we we was not playing about god one thing about it so even the one thing about it i say that and it's just like i don't know if i got it from her or if i i don't know but i say that all the time now but um it was honestly so like so amazing so surreal so um if if you are watching this mind for whatever reason you are absolutely a gem truly outstanding i hope that you know if you ever come back to columbus that you keep us in mind um and that for honestly whatever you do in life like you have full support from us and um it was such a pleasure like i don't even know what to say like i'm literally about to cry already i already cried in her face y'all i literally started crying um but it's something about it like especially those the girls who love the lord like it is very powerful when you're in a position of not not necessarily the public eye like i'm not a public figure by any means but like our lot like your life doesn't have to all like, like you don't have to become someone new just because you have a following you know what i mean in a negative way like obviously she's transformed who she is as far as like what god can make you or sculpt you into or become who god wants you to be but you don't have to become like this like social media hungry like you don't she didn't give that off and so to see that was just so cool was i nervous about that no because i ha i already felt like i knew her from her youtube but thinking about her shoes and all the things that she faces and probably deals with um to not really conform to the world and and she does have the public image and she is in the public eye it's just it's probably it's just really amazing and because i want to sing and i go listen to my song if you guys want to um because like i want to be a singer first like i do youtube like yeah i enjoy it and i want you guys to like learn about me and know me um but my first passion is music and um singing for god and singing from my heart about the feelings that i experience and stuff like that um and if again like just being with her is inspiring even if you don't do the exact same thing as her like obviously like i I'm not trying to make like if YouTube if I start to gain following on YouTube that's fine but I don't like to have an aspiring like I want to be a YouTuber like solely like I do want to be a singer solely um but just being with her was so inspiring I'm like I want to write a song not not about her but it just makes you want to work it makes you want to get to work it makes you want to be productive it makes you want to get stuff done like knowing know, knowing that just as much as I'm about to cry again. Good God. I'm just emotions today. Just as much as we support her, she supports us. Like, if you're talking about God, if you're listening to your gifts, if you're listening to your calling, um, using your creativity, putting your passions, you know, into action, she's like backing you up. Like, she that's what she's giving like it's, she's just giving like a friend like she's giving friend um and that is so cool like that's so cool so i am just through the roof right now <laughs> is that even a word through the moon over the moon whatever they say all the things i'm all the things and i think going forward if you're ever back in columbus just hit us up um or whenever like it doesn't matter even if you're not coming back to Columbus you could just say what's up you could just check in um I don't know if that's okay to do to you if we should check in I don't know if I can like just like text you now like I don't know like <laughs> I don't really know the vibe but I have a feeling that when you said like we're like family you meant that and so um yeah that's what I'm gonna say um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog this is definitely going down in history like I said and who knows? Maybe you guys will see her again in another vlog. Maybe. Maybe this summer. Bye. Can so amazing. Can I get, amazing. A, Can I get a amen? amen. <laughs> I enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made.